Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is a video tutorial of how to use Photoshop Elements. Please check out my channel and believe it or not it's called I think it's called Technoman42 but you'll find it in this video just click on Technoman42 and that'll take you into the channel and you'll find a, a, a lot of videos in there. Also please stop by my website jackstechcorner.com where you can pick up a DVD if you like this video you're going to love the DVD. There's 46 high resolution videos on there that can help you along with your Photoshop. And it starts very, very basic with the organizer and with guided edits. And then it works its way up um, through some more uh, advanced editing. But it takes you along the way and it's very uh, easy and very easy to follow. So stop by jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy of that DVD today. Also, I did. Uh, become an affiliate with uh, Ken with Green Screen Wizard. So if you're looking to pick up uh, a copy of the Green Screen Wizard Pro or the Green Screen Wizard plugin, please stop by my website and click on the graphics to go to Ken's site to make that, uh, to make that final purchase. Uh, just use that route to go through and that definitely is another way to help the show. Thanks everybody that's been donating to the show. Donations are always uh, accepted and greatly appreciated. Um, every donation definitely helps. So thanks everybody out there for supporting us, and today I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started in this show talking about using a mask or a layer mask um, to merge two pictures together, and how would we do that to come up with a with a final product, you know, using two different pictures and actually blending them together instead of cutting things out and pasting them. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Here I have two different basketball pictures. I got one with the girl coming down the left side of the court, and I got one over here, a picture of the right side of the court with everybody looking at the basket. And I thought, you know, we're going to go ahead and merge those together just to see what happens, but you'll get the idea of the technique that I use. Once you have the two selected, I just selected one, held the control key down, select the other one, right click, and I open up a full edit. Once we get these opened in full edit, we have to get both of these into the same layers palette. So what I'm going to do here is, just like we did in the past, how we actually used um, selection tools to, to just move the whole picture on top, just like if you're uh, pasting a picture on top of a picture. So let's select this one, and we're going to do select all, use the move tool, and we're going to move it right on top of this picture. We'll minimize this picture and get that out of the way. Once you do this, set your view to full screen, fit the screen, and we're going to adjust this picture so it makes sure it covers everything. All right, just like that. Then again, I'm going to do view, fit the screen, or control O, whichever you prefer to use. Once we have that set up, We'll go into background layer since it's locked. We can't you can't change the pixel since it's locked. So do a Control J. Or on the Mac, you're right, Command J. Then I just turn that background layer off. We really don't even need that one, so we'll just turn it off since it's locked anyway. Now with this selected, what we are going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead up here to your adjustment layer, and we're going to use levels. Because all we're doing is really we want to get that mask. Just click OK. Don't change any levels. Then go to the top layer and do a Control G. That will group these two layers together. Or, you know, some people would call it a clipping, clipping group. Once we have that set up, now you can just simply click on that layer mask, click right on the white, and do a Control I to fill it with black. Now anywhere we paint, it's going to start revealing that top image. So we'll use a brush, and then we can just start revealing that top image just by simply going and clicking and just painting. So you're painting with black to just actually hide this top piece. And we're going to just come down here, just come right over. And what you're doing here, I'm just painting back and forth with my mouse, just moving my mouse with that brush. Just 
just like so. Now if you see something up here like how I went over that black and it doesn't look quite right because it is black. And if we go again, we can actually darken that up or lighten that up a little bit more. There we go. We're just using a mask here to actually open this up. We'll lighten this up a little bit more. That way that hides the rest of that stuff there. But up here in this black, it doesn't look right. So all you need to do is go down here. Right now we're painting with white. So just reverse this and we'll paint with black and we'll just go over that. I'm using my left bracket key to take my paintbrush down a little bit. I'm just going to open that sign back up there so that way it doesn't look like it's you know hidden or anything. and We'll just kind of square it off a little bit. Then maybe we'll flip it back so we can make sure this guy has, a, has the top of a head up here. There we go. And you just kind of take this up a little bit more, make it a little bit more even. And you can use this with all kinds of things. You can use this with scenes. Um, maybe you have pictures of two different places you visited. You have yourself in the left in uh, one place. And then you can unmask or uh, bring up the other place on the other side. And it looks like you're in two places at once. There's, there's a lot of possibilities for this, uh, this technique and this tool of actually how you would do this and set this up. But once again, that's how you would do it. You would use a layer mask. And like I said, make sure you fill it with black. And make sure you do the clipping. Remember, click on this one and do a control G to group or click those, uh, clip them together. And that's what makes all this possible. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on, um, we're going to call this mask um, or um, hiding with a mask or unveiling with a mask. I'll think of some name for it to name the video. But um, until next time, you know, go out there and click those shutters. Go out there and take some pictures. Get a lot of pictures. Get them back in the editors and start playing around with this stuff. That's the best way to learn this. Um, so if anybody needs to get a hold of me, you can always drop a comment on the uh, YouTube videos. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it helps. You know, it's nice to get those little banners up that says um, you've uh, had the most subscriptions for the month. I know there's a lot more of you out there viewing these than are subscribed to them. And, you know, that could possibly be, too, that you're not even uh, signed up for YouTube. I know you have to be signed up and be a member of YouTube. It's free. But click on the uh, subscribe button once you sign up and subscribe. What that does for you is every time you log on to YouTube and bring up your home page, if I post a new video or any way you're subscribed to, they come right up on the top of the page so you see them right away. It's easier than hunting for all of us. You know, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there, more channels than any TV could ever imagine. So make it easy on yourself. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.